QuickBooks Online 2024 Navigation Overview. Get ready and some coffee because we're diving into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Online. Here we are online in our browser searching for QuickBooks Online Test Drive, the primary resource we will be using for the first part of the course. This time finding that tool in what I think is the easiest and fastest way, just searching for it. We then have the results. We're looking for a result that has Intuit.com, the owner of QuickBooks in the URL, making us feel fairly secure that we have a legitimate resource here. We're going into the test drive QuickBooks Online. We're gonna be using the United States version. First, a word from our sponsor. Yeah, uh, actually we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers, they don't wanna be seen with us. but. But that's okay, whatever, because our merchandise is, is better than their stupid stuff anyways. Like this CPA thinking cap, for example. CPA thinking CAP, you see what we did with like with the letters? And this CPA thinking cap is not just for CPAs either. Anyone can and should have at least one, possibly multiple CPA thinking caps. Why? Because based on our scientific survey of five people, all of whom directly profit from the sale of these CPA thinking caps, wearing this CPA thinking cap without a doubt, according to the survey, increases accounting productivity tenfold. Yeah, at least. Yeah, apparently the hat actually channels like accounting energy from the quantum field ether directly into your head allowing you to navigate spreadsheets faster. It's kind of like how in like the matrix when Neo learns Kung Fu, or at least that's what the scientific survey is saying. So get one because the scientific survey participants could really use some extra cash. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com. It will then ask us if we're a robot and we're gonna confirm that we are not a robot. And then once we're in here, we're in Craig's design and landscaping. I'm gonna hold down control, scroll up a little bit, and I'm gonna be at the 125, which I think is a fairly good size to be able to see within a screen recording. Now I'm gonna open up some reports, which is something that I wanna get in the habit of doing every time, that being the balance sheet and the income statement. So I'm gonna go up top, I'm gonna to right click on the tab, as we saw in a prior presentation, how to do, duplicate that tab. As that's thinking, I'm gonna right click on the tab again, and duplicate it again. And this is the process I do basically every time I go into QuickBooks, right? I'm gonna go into the middle tab now. I'm gonna go down to the reports on the left-hand side and open up our major two financial statement reports, which will most likely be in the favorites over here. And it'll almost always be in the favorites. If these two reports are not somebody's favorites, they don't know what they're doing or because these are the primary two reports. So then let's go to the, to the right-hand side and then go down to the reports on the left-hand side and then open up the profit and loss, sometimes called the income statement, sometimes called the P&L report. We'll dive into these reports in more detail later, but I just wanna show that process that we're gonna open those up mainly every time because this is the end result. This is what we're trying to create. If you're using QuickBooks for your taxes even, you're gonna need the income statement. That's what you're trying to build so you can use it to, to make your uh, taxes. So that's what the whole process is end resulting towards. And then I'll have the first tab open, which is where the tab that I will typically use for navigation purposes. Okay, let's get into the navigation then. Remember that the navigation components are going to be on the left hand side or up top typically in a web design a web based type of software the middle part is where the display screen is so whatever you select will then display something in this middle area now this middle area when you first go into it will typically be defaulting on the dashboard on the left hand side so now we have in essence the dashboard open at this point in time and this middle part in the dashboard will change depending on what QuickBooks Online is doing. So this is one of the, this is 
it's kind of strange that that's the place you go to first all the time and it's also the page that that will be changing the most often and it's actually the page that you're not going to be using as much usually because once you're into the system you're going to use these drop downs or side drops <laughs> on the left hand side and up top to be navigating uh, where you want to go but when so that's going to be this middle part now the way we navigate then is when we're trying to do our settings when we're trying to do something that's the underlying components uh, of the software such such as our settings sometimes some of our lists like the chart of accounts can be found here for example then we would go up to the cog up top so if we go up to the cog up top we have your company information this is where the account and settings are we'll take a look at more of these in detail in future presentations but manage users who is using the software customize forms chart of accounts you could find the chart of accounts in other locations which would probably be what most people would do but you have it here too as well uh, get the the desktop app additional info and then you have your lists all lists lists being a, a specific term not maybe so much in accounting per se as for quickbooks in general when we learn terminology it's important to note that there's accounting terminology and then there's quickbooks terminology which is grounded in accounting terminology but sometimes it's different so for example lists used to be a drop down that we had in the desktop version and so now a lot of the stuff that was housed in that drop down we often call lists products and services recurring transactions attachments uh, custom fields tags tags are a special feature we might talk about later and then rules tools order checks uh import data import desktop uh, export data reconcile budgeting uh, audit log smart look and then you've got your profile and so on so these are things again that aren't your day-to-day -day types of transactions these are the underlying things that you do to set up the company file uh, uh, or they're basically your your account information for the day-to-day -day types of transactions that's the stuff that's on the left now you could get to those these items usually in multiple different ways you've got all of these windows down below we'll take a look at them shortly but if you're just doing day-to-day -day transactions the place you might go most often is this drop down the new drop down now over time they've moved where this button is they've have they've called it a plus only they've called it new only i think and now they've got it as a plus and a new so this is going to be the drop down you'll typically find all the day-to-day -day types of trans